Yeah, it's nine o'clock Saturday morning. And like I said, I figured by this weekend you'd see rows. Thing is, I could see rows yesterday. I tried to make this video yesterday and I could stand here and I could see the rows, but it just not would not show up no matter what angle I tried to get. It just wouldn't show up and sh on the camera here. Maybe it's just the sun angles and stuff. See right now looking through here, I can't even tell. There's rows there, but I can see them. Then you get up here, more, more shaded, different. But the rows are there. I need to go down that little acre piece, see how that turned out, if I can see rows today on that or not. But it's coming. Probably be a little bit higher. We've got rain for the third time here this week. And I still don't think we've got a th hundredth of an inch of rain. Keep getting enough just to wet the dirt. Maybe see just a little bit run on the road. But we just keep getting the edge of it. You know, about five, six miles that way. They got hammered yesterday. It's one little cell formed over this area. And there was red on the radar over that way, but we were just on the edge of the green. Biggest, heaviest stuff has been staying north and south of us, so. We can say we're getting rain, but how beneficial it is. I mean, it helping some, but. But it's definitely up and out of the ground now. I can see the rows here fairly well today. I have to get a chance and go over, look at that other field, see how that turned out or how that's coming. I have a feeling that one's going to be coming up a little bit behind, but we got to start. And I say, I'm today. I'm going to continue. I said yes. I greased the silage wagons up and the chopper. I get the bagger set up and. Sharpen the knives of the chopper and I'm going to start on second crop because it's still got rain in the forecast for the next three days. And then the end of next week's all supposed to be good. So I can't, not going to have the weather to be cutting hay to bale. So I guess might as well work on the second crop to get that off. So that's part of the plans for today. Well, it's kind of late in the afternoon, so it's be a good time to mow some of this hay so it doesn't dry too much tonight. I got pretty much the wagons ready. I don't know if the one tire is going to hold air or not. I had to put another one on this wagon. The other wagon's holding air yet. And uh, got the baggers set up. Just got to tie the bag off. Sharpen the knives in the chopper and oil chains up. Pretty much extend what I got to do here yet. So I'm going to mow this piece and I'm going to open up this other piece. And if it gets too dry on me, I can mow some other and chop them together or whatever. But got to get started sometime. Field of sedan grass. Now, 
pick it up here or not. But should be able to see a green tent out there. I just let it go. This is the second one now. I sharpened the knives here in the chopper. When I got done, I had some stuff smoldering here. Sprayed this down with water when I was done and everything. But some got up in there. Luckily, I'm close enough to the house here. Went and got some water. I'm not wasting my pop. 
This is actually water. Oh, when I was going up through the field, I was smelling something smoldering again. I guess I got it. Yeah, they say everything's so damn dry on here. Been setting. I haven't oiled the change yet because I'm waiting to see what length of cut I'm getting here. I might have to slow that up some so it chops a little bit finer. And I don't want that chain all oily because I have to break a piece out of it to take it down any shorter. So. And I guess I got it now. Go back to try it here. And see what it does. Well, I've been chopping today. I didn't get I didn't get any footage of that other than what he did. Their chopper was smoking. The one field is just too much hills and side hills. I gotta watch what I'm doing and Got a rainstorm popped up on the radar there. Yeah, so I ain't spending much time here doing this. I gotta get home mixed speed before it does rain. But I wanted to get everything on the wagon, so I just didn't take time to video any of that. But not like there's not gonna be more of it. But I wanted to come down here and look at this piece. This is the piece that I didn't color mulch first after I disked it and then planted it. I just disked it, planted it, and then I ran it with the teeth down on the column mulcher again. Planted this Monday. Here it is Sunday. And it's coming. And I said, I don't know if it's going to be thinner or thicker. If we get this rain, it'll pop it right out of the ground, but clearly it didn't hurt it. It's not up as good as the other two fields, but I didn't expect it to be. I expect this seed to be a little bit deeper, which might be a benefit to it. So we'll see. Like I say, this was a test. More of it here. So it's coming. And like I say, if I can find more seed, this is the way I'm going to plant these last two fields I got. One way or another, when I get sedan grass, or I'm going to get oats and plant in it. But like I say, I just wanted to come down here and see if this came up or if I wasted my time but according to the weather app we got rain in about a half hour so I better get up there and get my feed mixed yeah I thought it in the video with the latest calf we got born sometime during the night when I come to the barn this morning I didn't see no calf out there do I think it was? It's probably laying behind its mother. Because my brother came up the road later in the afternoon and said there's a calf out there and this calf is pretty frisky for just to have been just born. So I think it was sometime during the night. But it's a heifer calf. It's got some nice markings on this one. This cow's prone to having heifer calves. I think she's had four or five of them now. But this is a milking shorthorn cow bred to a red and white Holstein bull. So we got, if we were registering the shorthorns, we could still register one generation, I guess, with a red Holstein. But uh, we don't register them, so it don't matter. I'm just breeding, been breeding them Holstein now to get better calves. Problem is, it seems like this year the shorthorns are the ones that are milking the best right now. So 
I don't know. But the latest addition to the herd, so I thought I'd share that. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch up you guys later.